I'm going to that one bagger. There's an amputated arm because it's fighting. Feels like an animal, but that part feels like rock. Yeah. Can I name it? Yeah. Why is it looking at me like that? This crocodile is coming from you. morning guys it is seven in the morning on day two of this whole northern region craziness that we're on but basically right now we woke up like a couple hours ago i think truth should be awake i'm sure he's at the lobby or somewhere we tried to edit a lot of videos last night but i think we underestimated how tired we were gonna be by the end of everything we did yesterday so and also the wi-fi and the internet situation was just not happening so that kind of happened but i wanted to give a quick little room tour before i leave because i stayed at kempinski which is like the most expensive hotel in ghana so i wanted to compare it with a more affordable option and i figured when i come to the north i get to see more affordable options than accra which wasn't true because there's actually way more affordable hotels in accra than over here because there was a hotel i was gonna go check out that's about ten dollars a night in accra but I figured in the northern region things would be cheaper, but that wasn't the case. Um, to be fair, we needed to find a hotel with Wi-Fi because we needed to do work. That probably changed things and also like a room with air conditioning, which wasn't too necessary. The Wi-Fi part was more necessary than the air conditioning. But basically we went to a place before this, which was like 70 CDs. No, 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 no. 120 CDs at night for no Wi-Fi, no air conditioning. This hotel is 250 CDs. We just needed a place to rest for like a couple hours before we continued working today. So this is what the room looks like. There's like a bed, a little couch. We have a fridge. I didn't even look at the fridge and stuff. And there's this little desk thing, closet space. Air conditioning because the north is way hotter than it is in Accra. Shower, sink, toilet. Basically, I think it's pretty good. Just everything you might need at like a simple hotel at a rest stop to kind of keep going. But basically, we're trying to film like six videos this trip. By the time you guys are watching this, it's daily uploads time. I really hope you guys are enjoying the daily uploads because <laughs> they're pre-planned. So if you don't, there's a lot more coming. I've just been really trying to... This is it's summertime now. It's summertime. If you're watching this, it's summertime. Summertime is coming or summertime is here. So <clears throat> I'm going to be uploading a lot. At least daily uploads till my birthday. And then we're going to try to keep going. Going, so so let me explain kind of like the geography of everything around here so like we're in Tamale which is near the airport we went all the way to Mole yesterday which is like three hours we came back to Tamale because we're going the opposite direction to Paga today Paga is where there's like a crocodile sanctuary we get to sit on crocodiles and touch them so that should be interesting and that's what we're about to do we could have stayed on Mole but then basically that wouldn't have worked out because we need to leave early this morning to Paga because our flight is at 5 p.m. today right now the hotel does come with breakfast which is a plus we don't have to spend money outside so we're gonna get breakfast really quickly and go about our day Guys, I'm quickly trying to upload a video right now before we head out. I just finished uploading the video. It's scheduled to go up at 3 p.m. All right, so I got egg, sausage, bread, and mello. Egg, sausage, bread, mello. I'm usually not hungry in the morning. Here you go. <laughs> Guys, we've been on the road for perhaps how long have we been driving? We took off like eight something. Yeah. But it's now nine twenty. So maybe like an hour. Yeah. And Took a slight snap, woke up, and it's raining. You missed everything. I missed everything. Apparently, there was a massive fog, and now it's raining. We're running a little bit behind schedule, so once we get there, we'll probably like come quickly and head back. But I hope this rain doesn't affect our flight. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but basically, you can't really see. We're in Navrongo right now. Can I show them the map? 
if I zoom out of the map just a little bit we're right near the Burkina Faso border if we step over we'll be in a different country okay. I'm Gofreda Wampaga and this is the chief crocodile pond and normally we have a procedure before you get access to go in here. All of you will buy one chicken. We use the chicken to invite the crop from the water. And the chicken costs of 15 Ghana cities. And whoever wanted to go in, you will pay. Ghanese pays 12 Ghana cities. non ghanaian pays 15 Ghana cities. So that is the procedure we have here. So I don't know if you heard what the kind man was saying earlier. He basically said 50 CD for a chicken to attract the crocodile. After that, 12 CD for Ghanaians and 15 for non Ghanaians. Alright guys, it's not 50 for the chicken, it's 15. Which makes a lot more sense because I was thinking this has to be some type of special crocodile chicken because I was like, wow, I don't even pay 50 for chicken for me to eat. Oh, but look at the horse there, look at the horse. Boss, please, is that your horse? I want to. We can ride the horse. Alright, so it's 15 for the crocodile. I mean, 15 for the chicken. You see, it's too early in the morning for this. 15 for chicken, 12 CDs for entry, and we're about to now. Wow, this pond. Guys, I didn't even realize. Look at all these crocodiles around. They are so camouflaged, and I didn't notice. If you look. There's a crocodile there, that's a crocodile there, that's a crocodile there. Okay, let's keep it pushing because I want to continue my YouTube career. There's croco- Boss, th this crocodile, why is it looking at me like that? This one, this <laughs> the one, way it's looking it's at even me. even blind, it can see. Really? Yeah. But it can smell? Yes. Oh, wow. Why is it because of the age is blind or? They fight. They used to fight. Fight, fight each other? Yes. What the call one so that you see how they come out? Uh, Say, 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 this crocodile is coming from you. <laughs> Would they fight if they are together? But this part you can feel that yes. it's like a skin. Yeah. It's so heavy. But how do they fight each other? Their tails. You are going to feed it. Omae wa mou shinde iru. Nani? There's an amputated arm because it's fighting all the time. Stop fighting. Don't fight. I shouldn't go. So apparently you can't really see its surroundings and like the back. But when you go in front, it can mistake in you as food, as chicken. Wow, the swimming. Look, we... Guys, I just made some crocodile friends. They're all back in the water. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I didn't pay enough attention to you, but you don't have to. Cr okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. <coughs> I think goats are so cute. <coughs> yeah, but look at how beautiful this horse is. Riding the horse wasn't part of the plan, but there's a horse here, and why not? It is a lot cheaper than riding a horse in Ghana, in Accra. In Accra, if you want to ride a horse, it's so, ex I mean, it's not so expensive, but it's expensive to ride it here. But look at how good this horse looks. Like, the horses in Accra don't look this healthy. Oh, 
wow, she's beautiful. What's her name? Hi, peace. Wow, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. How old is she? She's seven years old. Is that old or younger? I say old. How long do horses live for? Guys, I'm getting on. Guys, I need to get a horse. This makes me so happy. Look at how beautiful. That's the sun. Yeah. What's the son's name? Yeah, I don't give any name. Can I name it? Yeah, you can name it. I can name it? Yeah. Okay, I'll think of something. I've never thought an animal was this beautiful. Look at how human-like the eyes are. Alright, okay, bye peace. I think I have an emotional attachment to peace. I literally have never thought like I never got when animals are like I just really ugh, peace. Okay, anyways, we're going. Guys, 24 hours later and we're heading back to Accra right now. Our flight is at 510. The boarding time is 4.30, so we're heading back to Accra. We're done with our 24-hour northern region adventure. It was a little bit hectic, a little bit crazy. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys later about all the tips and tricks I have for you guys. It's all the problems we encountered, all the advice, the different price points. I'll sit down properly and conclude this entire trip. But right now, we're heading back. There were some hiccups along the way. What do you think? Wait, it's been more than 24 hours. It's, not 30, it's been about 30-something hours. 36 hours. That's 36 hours. So I'll talk to you guys when we get back to Accra. Guys, look at my private jet. I'm manifesting it. This is, a, this is my private jet. I just decided to call it Passionair. I promise it's not an airline company, it's my plane. <laughs> 